Brecht. Then Bertolt Brecht. To use Brecht without changing him is to betray him. So what we did is we literally bought the last hundred copies of this book and we hijacked them. You know, we pasted into them, we silk screened over them. So we kind of destroyed the book by adding our layer to it, you know. Uh, so it's at once a homage to him, but also it's a kind of, um, it's a naughty gesture as well. King James. You know, to, to make the divine violence, to make that work, we had to take the King James version of the Bible. And in order to do that, we needed permission from the copyright owner. And that turned out to be the Queen of England, Queen Elizabeth. So that was a bit of a, a long journey. We wrote to her lawyers um, and eventually got permission to reproduce the book. But it took a long time. And we got a letter back from Cambridge Press to say, we will not seek to impede your project which is a very legal way of saying, if we don't like it, we can retract this permission. I'm not sure if she's seen the exhibition or not. We sent her an invitation. <laughs> David Goldblatt. David Goldblatt is a remarkable person and a real hero for both of us. And he's really interesting because throughout the apartheid period, he continued to do exactly what he was doing. And he was operating outside the realms of photojournalism. But he was a documentarian. And he was recording what he was experiencing and seeing. But always from a, 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 a more removed position. And I think that's why he's so important in South Africa. Who are they? <laughs> Hairdressers. <laughs> Adam and Ollie are a kind of fiction. They don't really exist. Yeah, and that anonymity it runs totally counter to what the art world or the photographic world demands. They demand that the author, the artist, has his or her own signature and there's an aura around the originality. Whereas something coming from an anonymous uh, group, Adam and Ollie, who is this? fictional person, you know? Um, so it runs against the grain of what's expected of an artist, and we kind of celebrate that uh, anonymity. This is a place that we both came to when we were teenagers, and I suppose we never imagined that we'd be here exhibiting our work. <laughs>